My memories of that are probably my most intense Ramones memories because um, we were so amped about their show and backstage before they went on we discovered that they did something you know very kind of bizarre and, and unexpected from any rock band that I'd ever seen or been exposed to before which was they rehearsed the entire set at a, at a quiet volume from beginning to end before they went and played it as a performance. They got into their tiny little room with their tiny little amps and just, you know, started counting off songs and going through the whole song. You know, one after another, the entire set list. Um, just making sure it was ready to go, which I think kind of speaks to the, uh, the strange um, sense of perfectionism that you know, a punk rock band like themselves would have people think of these bands as just being kind of, um, you know, not necessarily sloppy, but just a little more uh, anarchistic in their musical nature. And these guys were real professional in that respect anyways. So they did that and we kind of freaked out because uh, we'd never heard anybody do that before. And then we started hatching a, uh, an ill-fated plan, if you will which was Flea and myself and Jack Irons, the drummer of our band at that time. Um, for some reason, Hillel, the guitar player, chose not to participate in this sh shenanigan, but we decided it would be a great uh, moment of homage if we would uh, dance across the stage naked during the Ramones set. And at that time, I had never seen the Ramones play, and I didn't realize that they were, they were all business on stage, and they had their idea of what a show should be in their own aesthetic and their own presentation and so although we didn't mean to step on any toes um, I think we waited for uh, Blitzkrieg Bop or something and and Flea and Jack and I we all stripped down naked on the side of the stage and and danced with love in our hearts across the front of the stage not that obnoxious thing where you kind of stop and soak up the spotlight, but just a conveyor belt of three naked dancers going across the stage. And then we, then we got off, you know. We weren't trying to be the guy out there who was drunk and, oh, you know, look at me. We just did our business and left, and we thought it was good and exciting and, you know, paying uh, respect to this band. <clears throat> and um, it turns out that it was very poorly received by the band. Um, particularly by Johnny, who was um, irate and incensed by the act. And, uh, and we didn't know this at the time, but afterwards we ran into him in the lobby of this bizarre Finnish compound, and, uh, and he was yelling at us in a very strict and hateful manner about how we had no business doing that and who do we think we are and we ruined their show. And... and uh, you know, needless to say, my, my heart sunk because that was not our intention. You know, it was just to let them know that, that we were feeling them. And, um, and I was just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And, you know, it wasn't, there was no impending physical violence, but it was just, he was really unhappy about our maneuver. And uh, so I continued to shrink and shrink and shrink. And then, Joey came up to me after he sort of witnessed this this verbal um, scolding and he just very simply whispered into my ear I thought it was kind of cool and then walked away so he kind of spared me from like feeling like a jerk forever he's like well if I pissed off you know the guitar player at least the singer was okay with it <laughs> 